Hey guys, this is Dimitar from New Age Studio Design Academy. In this video, we're going to look at tissue, which is a tessellation add-on, and how it can be used for architectural design. So all of these examples here were created with tissue, with a simple base mesh that looks like this. Now, with this kind of base mesh, we can create a fairly simple building, like this example here, just by using inset and the building is not very realistic because the ground level would always be slightly different but nevertheless we can make it work now the issue with this approach is that if we want to change something we basically have to remodel the whole thing so with tissue we can start with a simple module with a base mesh and create something that looks a lot more intricate the actual module is not very different to what we have here with slightly more detail. I think I added an extra extrusion for an inner mullein to add extra depth. Now once this is applied onto this base mesh we get something that already looks much much better than the other example. So let's see how it works. Let me erase this. Shift D So I will select this component here and shift select Oh, and let's make sure you have tissue enabled so if you go to preferences add-ons and search for tissue and enable it I have the one that I downloaded from github which is a little bit later than the ones that comes shipped with blender either, either, either version works so once this is enabled, in your sidebar you will have a new tab called Tissue. So let's select a component and a base mesh, shift click. And the order is important, so we should always first click the component and then the base mesh. And then click Tessellate. Now we get a pop-up with all kinds of options. Don't worry about those because we can revisit them later. But for now, let's just press OK. And we get this. Now we probably want to turn off our base mesh. So we see a better example. And let's say we actually want to duplicate this and slightly edit it. Let's make it slightly larger. Now if we click on our tessellation mesh and if you go to object data, scroll down, there should be a new submenu section called tessellate settings. And in there we have base and we have component. So let's get rid of facade zero one component, use the eyedropper and select this new one. And now we have an update. and we can really easily update to any of the other ones so let's say that we don't want this facade either we want this guy and what's nice is that both of these buildings and this could be much taller in fact let's do that uh, both of these buildings are using that exact same component All right, so now I'm going to enable the base mesh let's hide this tessellation I'm going to go in edit mode and let's add a couple more stories. So, Shift D. Let's see, I'll copy them somewhere here. And then I'll move them back down there. If we want to, we can go and remove some of the doubles. Old Tem. Merge by distance. Should have removed all the vertices that are in the same place. I made the roof a different element. So I'm just going to move that up higher. It's very high. There you go. All right, so now this building is slightly different. But all I did is update the mesh. So I don't even need to create a new tessellation. If I hide the base mesh, enable the last tessellation in my stack, click on it, click refresh, 
And now we have a shorter building and a taller building using the exact same module. So now if we go and let's say we create this, maybe this is not a glass panel. So I'm going to change the material. So I'm going to update this tessellation. And we see it's changed. And let's go in here and update this tessellation as well. And that's changed also. So that's the very basic way to use tissue for architectural design. Now there are more intricate examples as well. In here there are a few tests, very conceptual for looking at different facade panels for an arena. Now, all of these tests either come from a regular mesh or a diagrid mesh, which is essentially the same as this mesh, but using subdivide and then decimate. Panel types are very simple. What's important is that with the panels, the edges, if, no matter how much they deviate in 3D, that the edges meet the next panel. If we want to, if that's the effect that we want to achieve. And then with these few simple variations, here's what we get, which looks architecturally very different. This is the first one, which actually doesn't meet. So there is a gap in here. The second one is very simple panel quad divided in tries and the try is slightly elevated so it has a slight 3d element to it and then this has a different ar architectural expression where it comes more towards a point and now the diagrid ones are these examples here uh, imagine that these two are actually they're using the exact same panel the only difference is that the panel is rotated 90 degrees. And you can already see we have a simple panel, we have a simple base mesh, and a few settings. We have very different, very, very interesting examples that could be modified and look intricate. And the last example I would like to show you is for a city. Now I'm going to do a um, more in-depth tutorial on this, but I just want to show you so you're aware of what's possible. Now this starts with a simple base mesh, but then gets a module applied, which is a block. And you see how nicely each block deviates towards the deformed initial base mesh faces. The inner bit of the mesh of the base mesh of the blocks gets another tessellation with different materials. So let's turn this one off. So as you see here, there's a couple of different module types that I'm using. So after a little bit, so these were the original ones. And I went back and played with those original modules a little bit more. Again, with the tissue plugin, we were able to create windows in there so they look a little bit more realistic. And again, none of these buildings have a base, sort of a ground level, which they typically would. But that's what we get with a very kind of simple tessellation system. So we have the road. We have three different types of buildings. And at any time, we can go back and add, if we want to, more detail to the actual street block. Or we can go and change some of these buildings. Let's say one of these, we want to make it taller. And you know, with nodes, we can also change the material. So each instance has a slightly different hue or material to add more variation to the city. Now, there's a couple of resources that I want to make you aware of. I've started a playlist called Blender Tissue. And you see here the first video is Tissue. 
a tool for computational design by Alessandro Zamparelli. He is the creator of the tissue plugin and he had a talk this year at the 2019 Blender conference, which was very well received. I definitely recommend watching it because it goes into all the possibilities and details for how to use tissue and how. So this is mostly about computational design, but it shows very nicely the possibilities of base mesh component and then tessellation. Uh, his channel also has more advanced ways of using tissue. A lot of these are more for computational design, but they can also be applied for architectural design as well. And in here I've put a list of the ones that are definitely a must-see. So thanks for watching and see you next time.